Thank you. Man's best friend can quickly become a person's worst enemy. And if the prospect of visitors being bitten isn't enough to keep your dog under a tight rein, perhaps getting sued is. Here's Dan's Brent Frazier is live outdoors with some helpful hints before Dog Bite Prevention Week begins this Sunday. Brent? Mark Patrice, uh, Terre Haute City Animal Control tells me there's already been a serious dog attack on a man just this year. And in a Sioux Happy Society, the prospect of getting hit in the pocketbook should serve as a wake up call. Two and a half years ago, five year old Carter Tate was Terre Haute's poster child for dog bite victims. <laughs> There have been countless cases since Carter's, many of which go unreported. But the attacks that are trackable have boosted the state of Illinois to second place last year with 337 insurance claims costing the company State Farm $9 million in payouts. Indiana's in seventh place with 148 claims costing $2.7 million. Terre Haute agent Sandy Bryant says a canine count is something State Farm asks for when customers purchase homeowner's insurance. So what State Farm would want to know is how many dogs do you currently own and how many of those dogs have ever bitten anyone or are they trained for attack or guard purposes? Suffice it to say dog owners have a big responsibility in preventing animal attacks, but so does the general public in simply being vigilant. Aware, in other words, when out walking, jogging or riding. If you don't know the animal, don't approach it. Whether the owner says it, you know, it won't bite or not, I mean, never put your hands down by a dog that you don't know. A dog bite is a surefire way to alienate your neighbor, but it's also a way for dog owners to lose a lot of money. Just ask insurance agent Sandy Bryant, whose employer, State Farm, saw nearly 4,000 dog bite claims last year nationally and shelled out $108 million. That old leash law we've all heard about is an Indiana state law, believe it or not. It's a Terre Haute city ordinance as well. Also, do you know this? The city has a no tethering ordinance. In other words, your pet cannot be roped, chained, or tied to anything while you're away for more than two hours. Mark Patrice, if it all seems a bit overwhelming, don't worry. We've compiled everything you need to know on our website, WTHITV.com. Live outdoors, I'm Brent Frazier, News 10. Thank you, Brent.